hello there. <laughs> that was kind of creepy. That wasn't creepy at all, David. What are you talking Guys, if it's your very first time here on this channel, what's up? My name is David. I'm a 360 photo booth director, 360 photo booth operator, 360 photo booth content producer. You probably are the same thing and a lot more other things. But today we're going to be diving inside of touch picks. Well, what does being inside a touch pick look like? What does it even mean? What I mean by this is that now that you've downloaded touch picks and you have bought your first subscription and you already set up your, your very first event on touch picks and you guys, if you guys need help doing all of that, remember I made like one, at least two videos on all of that. It's floating on this channel. So please find that, grab a coffee, some tea and, and watch all of this great content that's going to help your 360 photo booth business. Um, so what I mean by jumping inside of touch picks and what that looks like is I'm going to show you guys how it looks when you activate the event, when you are pretend that we're an event and show you what the recording phone that you're using, what it looks like, how does the touch pick interface look like on your mobile phone, some of the settings you have access to. I'm going to show you what it looks like to upload videos onto your sharing station. Most uh, most people use iPad for their sharing station, and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on the er external monitor, and I'm getting tongue twisted, but it's okay. I ain't even tripping. <laughs> All right, guys, subscribe, because a lot of you guys watch these videos and aren't even subscribed. Is it because I look weird? Because I'm a weird looking human being? That's okay, it's okay. God created so many things, and it didn't create too many um, people that looks just the same, because imagine you want a Baskin Robbins and they didn't have 31 flavors, you know? It's, anyways, let's just get back to the topic and this is how it looks to be inside of Touch Picks as a 360 photo booth operator. So here we are. I have my phone that I'm gonna be using to record the event. I have my laptop. We're gonna scan the QR code right now to activate the event. We have my iPad here, my also known as a sharing station. It's connected to this little uh, mobile hotspot, also known as a little jetpack. This thing is uh, super handy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna open up the application called Touch Picks right over here. And then I'm gonna go to Activate Event and uh, select Activate right there. All right, so it's gonna bring up this window. And then what you wanna do is you wanna come over to your laptop and select the event that you wanna activate. Select the QR code, which is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And the QR code pops up just like this. Grab my phone and scan this right here until it acknowledges it. Okay, perfect, recognize the event. So we're gonna give it a little bit. It's gonna download all the settings we did on the dashboard on touch picks onto the phone. Now we're gonna move over to the iPad sharing station. We're gonna open up the app right here as well, the touch picks app. And then we're gonna go to activate event. On this one, we're gonna uh, select sharing station because that's what we're using. We're using this as a sharing station. So it wants us to do the same exact thing. It wants us to scan the QR code. So we're gonna go ahead and scan the QR code. All right, I recognize the event, perfect. So we're gonna wait for these settings to upload onto the iPad. And then right over here, this is how your window's gonna look. All right, so let's go over to the iPad. I wanna show you guys something and do it in this order. We're gonna go to the iPad and your iPad's gonna show the overlay you have for that event. Now I'm gonna go to gallery and then I'm gonna select this top circle right here where it says R, and I'm gonna activate this iPad as the receiver. So activate receiver right there. And then I'm gonna select online sync. All good, okay. Then I'm gonna come over to my phone, go to gallery, and select this circle right over here, and I'm gonna use this as a sender. So activate sender right there in the middle. And I'm gonna select the iPad. So it's gonna send to the iPad, and then you're gonna see this green right here. When it's green, that means it's 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 a synced. So then right over here, you come back to the iPad and hit sync right, right over here. And it says, all good, synchronized, we'll start now, okay. So we're good. So that is how you do the portion of synchronizing your phone to the iPad sharing station. So now I'm gonna grab the phone. I'm gonna hit the X right here. It's gonna take me right here, okay? So let me go ahead and disconnect it from the charging cable. Then, uh, Philip, can you grab this and just record, record me real quick? Thanks, bro. So if you guys come over here, let's maybe probably just give you some room to record. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it right here on the arm. Right there. 
So now that I have it mounted onto the arm, what I usually want to do is I get my uh, my assistant to go on the booth. So let me know if I'm in if I'm in frame or if I need to go higher or lower on the phone or adjust it. So right here, I'm right in the middle. Like, is my my head cut off? You need to go up higher. You need to go up higher. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll come around here and turn this knob, and make it go a little higher like that. And then I'm gonna go stand on there again. And so it can tell me perfect. If, if it's calibrated better. Okay, so this is perfect, this is good. According to what Philip said, hopefully he has good judgment, right? We trust him. I'm gonna move this a little bit like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit slow-mo and this is the screen you're gonna see. So that's how you do it on your phone. Now, how are we gonna sync it to the uh, TV? What we wanna do is we want to go to the settings on the on the iPhone, and it's probably, I should have probably done this differently so you guys can get a better view, but just bear with me here. Just hit this icon right here. And on, on a video, you guys already know how to connect your phone to the TV. Here again, I'm going to hit touch picks, and it takes us to this little menu right here. So as soon as this arm starts moving, you guys are going to see what's going down on the TV right over here. So let's see if I'm correct and this thing works properly. Watch out for we want to make sound. This is so the arm is an issue. So I'm going to hit the start. And as you guys can see on the TV, it's going to give us a countdown. Three, two, one. So now it's recording and you guys can see the countdown on the TV as well. It records for about six seconds. Then I'm going to hit stop on my controller. And on the TV now, you guys are going to see that it's going to start applying the effects, the boomerang the slow-mo, the MP3 song, and whatever effects you decide to use. And the faster your connection is and the faster your processor is on your phone, the faster this video is gonna render. So now it's applying the overlay. And then you'll, you'll get in a few seconds, you're gonna see the final production when it finishes uh, rendering. So this takes about sometimes 30 seconds. You don't want to come out on video, but there you are. Dog. <laughs> All right. So that's that. And it's going to show you the preview of the video. And what we're going to do next is I'm going to take you over to the iPad right now, but I'm just going to wait for this to finish showing. This is what you call sharing. So when we selected three seconds, uh, the shorter this part is, the faster you can get on to the next. And this is your logo up here. Your logo is going to go right up here. So now that it's rendering, in a few moments, we're going to have the video populate and generate right here. But first, let's go see if it's already showing on the iPad. So usually what, Philip, it takes like almost three minutes to show on the iPad sometimes. Yeah, so right now it's not showing on the iPad just yet. Um, and this takes a while. I got it from here, Philip. Thanks, bro. Okay. Yeah, thanks. All right, so it usually always pops up first on this monitor. And right here, you can come over and scan this QR code and it'll give you a link. And let me show you what I mean. Let me grab one of my phones and show you how that looks like. So because it shows on the monitor first, the client can grab their phone, go to photo, scan this QR code like this. Okay. And then it takes them to this link right here. It's gonna show them their video. And what they can do next is go to this arrow on the right side. And we're gonna to go to download. And now it's it's uh, actually downloading the video onto the files on this phone. That's the slow way of doing it. The faster way of doing it is this, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna walk over to the iPad sharing station it took maybe two minutes to generate right here. So the people come up to your sharing station, they go to the, they go to the video and it'll show the video playing, right? And this is what I love about iPhones. They can just go to airdrop right there, right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select my phone. Is it the right phone or is it this one? Or this one. Oh, here it is. There you go. So it only what took one or two seconds to get on my iPhone. And this is why I love Apple products and using the AirDrop feature. If you guys have Android, you'll have to do it the other way where you scan the QR code. So let's go ahead and scan the QR code because we can't discriminate. We got to help out our 360 photo booth operators that have Android devices. 
and let's go ahead and select the QR code right there. Open that up. Okay. And these are all the options you have. You can mail it, put it on Facebook, Twitter, but we're going to download it. and Hit download right here. Oh. Let me go to my files to see if it downloaded. So let's go to files. And as you can see, when you go to files, it already downloaded. It's it's on here. This one's waiting. This one's already on here. So what I can do is play. I can actually play it now, right? Or what you can also do is if you go right here, and this is if you're an Android user, you can now download it, save the video to your uh, gallery, your photo gallery, if I'm correct. Let me see if that's accurate. Yeah, so I saved it and uh, you guys can see that it's right here in my gallery. So definitely there's like maybe an extra two steps to take if you're using Android. All right. So that's that. And then you can go back. And then as you continue throughout your event throughout the night, you know, you're going to have a lots of like a carousel of videos and people can just come over, select their video and airdrop it or scan the QR code. Um, let's let's go over to the phone and kind of show you guys some of the settings that you guys are going to see on the phone. Oh, I'm glad this happened. So the phone locked up on me. Make sure you guys, when you guys are doing the events, try to have your phone time out within like five minutes. That way you guys don't experience any delays. Um, that's one thing that stood out to me just now. So I'm going to go to end session and I'm going to go to this little icon right here. And if you go to settings, you have a few settings right here. Um, and this is what you want. You want your uh, live view, live view background to be on green all the time. You want your countdown to be at least at three seconds so people can know like, okay, five, no, not five, three, two, one, boom, and start recording. You usually want to tell them, okay, we're live, we're recording, and then they start making uh, some cool dance moves or just, you know, having a good ass time, acting a fool, whatever they're gonna do. Uh, the slow-mo recording time, you guys can see, I put it to six seconds. And that's mainly what you're gonna be using. Uh, everything else, is more more advanced and it's something that you don't really want to mess with, especially if you're just starting out. Just keep it very basic, and and that's all I can tell you guys is keep it super basic. I got some more videos coming. Um, you guys are gonna be surprised. So now let's see. Like now we're done with the event, right? So to end the event, what you do is you grab your phone. Grab your phone. You hit this burger icon right here you go to close event and then it says are you sure you want to close are you sure you want to close the event yes so then you scan the qr code just like that and it it closes the event and it says delete photos and videos from your device i usually don't do that uh, what i do is I keep all the photos in my device and I get home. And what I like doing is I like moving them onto a hard drive that I can uh, mail out to the client or just keep it on a keep it on the side on a different memory uh, stick just in case the customers, uh, for some reason, they can't download it when you give them the master URL. That URL code you guys can get later on uh, touch picks. So for this video, um, as you can see, the, the event is closed. And then I'm gonna to go to continue right here. And that event is uh, closed. And what I do on the iPad is I'll go to here where it says online sync. And then I'll hit the X right up here. Go here and then exit sharing the station. Okay. And if I go over to my dashboard on my laptop, you'll see that the event that we're working on, it'll say finished like this. I hope this helps guys. I'll see you on the next video.